it's the time of year with weddings and graduations that sometimes having a tan is a nice accessory to an outfit. I'm joined by Randy and we're learning about tanning the safe way. Thanks for joining me, Randy. We're talking about spray tanning. If someone has never done this before, let's just learn a little bit about the process. Um, about the process is uh, we want to start with some uh, clean, dry skin mm -hmm. that has been um, exfoliated. Mm -hmm. Now we do want to make sure that we're always exfoliating our skin a couple of times a week okay. just to get that nice, natural, healthy looking glow. Mm -hmm. um, when you come for a spray tan, you want to be showered approximately about six hours before, no lotion on your skin. We um, prep your hands, your nails, your feet, your um, knees, elbows, that sort of thing, really paying attention to the hands, that's really important. Mm -hmm. um, and all those areas, the little drier areas that we want to kind of barrier, make sure that it's a nice even look to it. Right. We airbrush you through a few easy positions. And as we're airbrushing you, we do body contouring. It makes you look just really fantastic in those summer dresses. And like you said, graduations, weddings. Um, and then after you're actually quite ready to get dressed, um, you are the most impressionable the next three to five hours, so you just got to kind of make sure not to, you know, lean your hand on your face, that sort of thing. Um, and it takes about a full 12 hours for the color to really mature, and so we say not to shower for a minimum of 12 hours, and it is the safe way. Yeah. Um, absolutely, I mean, every day we're seeing skin cancer rates um, increasing and in a direct correlation with tanning beds, mm -hmm. being out in the sun, unprotected, that sort of thing. So. For those that are really wanting to get that um, flawless tan look without the skin damaging effects from the sun mm -hmm. or tanning beds, um, this is a phenomenal art alternative for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now, yeah. how often can someone do spray tans? Can this, can this be a regular thing? Absolutely it can. Um, you know, every everybody's different with how long it lasts. So we say generally seven to 10 days, okay. um, but there are things that you can do um, to lengthen the, the, the uh, how long your tan lasts. Like okay. for myself, I'm on day five, mm -hmm. um, moisturizing your skin. Coconut oil is phenomenal um, for really keeping the skin hydrated. Um, great for people that have sensitive skin. Excellent. Now, how do people find out more information about getting a spray tan? About getting an organic spray tan, um, go to my website, uh, www.organictan.ca. You can also contact me. You can call or text 403 Three six zero one six one one. Okay, and you're yeah. on Facebook too, right? I'm on Facebook. Yeah, you're everywhere. I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Facebook.com. You can just um, slash organic tan Lethbridge. Just search for organic tan Lethbridge. Excellent. Yeah. Really, really yeah. easy to find yeah. you, and a really great alternative for getting a tan this summer. It's really nice to have that with your summer dresses for weddings, graduations, the like. Thank you so much, Brandy, oh, for all you, of Liz. the tips. For that sure. is a definite safe alternative for tanning this summer.